Well, here's the first run of the centrifuge. I've got a bucket up here that's got some nasty used oil in it. The oil is going through the hose here, through the valve, through the heater. You can feel up here it's fairly warm. I've got it set to about 55 Celsius. And that's running into the centrifuge. And the bowl isn't full yet, so we haven't had any oil come out here yet, which uh, should happen shortly. You've got to watch the valve here to make sure that the flow is not too fast. So here we go. Here's the first bit of oil. Looks pretty clear. You can see the that's pretty brown. And what's coming through here is quite a bit more light amber color. So we're just going to run this pail here through it and I've got got the rest of this too in a 16 liter that we're going to put through there. And then we're going to stop the machine and we're going to see how much water and junk comes out to uh, kind of gauge when we have to stop and start the centrifuge to clean it out every once in a while. So it's actually not that loud and uh, yeah, it should be good. When we get the final setup done, I can have something where this is kind of in the middle, have a 55 gallon drum below it and then above it a couple 55 gallon drums that uh, will either feed dirty oil or finish fuel through there to get the water out from the water wash. So uh, we'll see how it goes. So we're just about to start our, I guess it's batch number six of biodiesel and we've got pretty much the barrel full. We've got a bit of it here in the centrifuge. I've just set up the centrifuge temporarily. It's pretty much uh, probably run out now. Do some junk bits. And I'll show you if we tilt this thing, get a bit more oil going down there. You can see the oil popping out there. That's the clean oil. <clears throat> it flows a little faster than that, but right now we're out of oil here. I'm just going to slow this thing down. 6,000 RPM to. Oh, it did it again. Interesting. Alright, so let's reset it here at 490 RPM. And you'll see how the dirt comes out. But I'm going to open it up and we'll take a look inside. So we slowed down to 490 RPM. I'm just going to pull the lid here. It's kind of warm right here because of the, the heater heats up the oil before it goes in. And we can see it's rotating. And we're just going to slow it right down and watch it drain. Hang on. So that's all the gooey stuff. And you can see on the inside of the centrifuge there, right on the sides, you can see all this trash. It's like uh, really dark stuff. And the only way to get that off is with the brake clean stuff. And it probably drains pretty slow because there's a lot of crud it catches in here as well. Anyway, all that nasty stuff is going down this hose here when it stops, and that's the goo that comes out of there. So, water and dirt. And so, inside the bowl, there's a whole bunch of black stuff, and good old brake clean takes that off no problem. And you just gotta blow through the little drain holes once in a while to get any chunks through. But of course, I didn't pre filter this oil before it went in there, so. It's always a good idea to use a mesh screen before you dump the used oil through there to catch any big bits because the big bits will clog those little drain holes in there. But uh, work like a charm and, and then there's some, that's some nasty stuff that came out of there. So the leftovers that got filtered out so it works pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. 